is used in opposition to enemy. And for a devotee, there are no friends or enemies. He sees them all as eternal servants of Krishna. But for us, uh, as devotees, definitely uh, we want to have friendships with devotees. In fact, Srimad Bhagavatam describes uh, how a devotee will relate differently to uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, to other devotees, to the innocent, and to the envious. And the Bhagavatam says, Prema Maitri Kripupeksha. So Prema means we should give our love to the Supreme Personality of God. And Maitri means we should make friendship with devotees. Kripa means we should give mercy to the innocent uh, by preaching to them. And Upeksha means we should neglect the envious. Although Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur comments that although we neglect them in the sense that we don't preach to them because they'll just become more inimical, but we can pray for them. So, will you be my friend? <laughs> We may not be as good friends with some devotees as we are with others, but we should be friendly and favorable to, to all devotees, and that will be uh, good for our spiritual lives. Srila uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his uh, Harinam Chintamani discusses the ten offenses against the holy name, and the first is uh, sadhu ninda, uh, to blaspheme the devotees who have dedicated their lives for propagating the holy name. And uh, he, he lists different grounds on which one might think one is justified in uh, criticizing a devotee. And then he explains one by one how those grounds are not substantial. For example, uh, a devotee's low birth, a devotee's previous sinful activities, a de traces of sinful activities even after becoming a devotee. Um, these are not uh, grounds to justify uh, Sadhu Ninda. And he also says that by uh, chanting attentively, all the other offenses will be eradicated. And that by, by being inattentive while chanting, one uh, allows the other offenses to flourish. So we should be uh, attentive. I have on occasion uh, facilitated job of retreats and workshops. Uh, and some of them with uh, Mahatma Prabhu. And he has commented that, uh, that devotees have become very expert at using their left hands, because while their right hand is in the bead bag, with their left hand, you know, they're tidying up, they're checking their emails, and so yeah, we shouldn't uh, be like that. And he also quoted uh, one, one devotee who said that, um, that I used to think that my job was coming in the way of my life. 
but now I think my life is coming in the way of my job. So. Any other? Everyone in the temple benefits. And if one devotee in the temple is uh, suffering, then everyone in the temple will also suffer with him. So we're, 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 we're in the same boat together. And so if someone is doing well, it's, it's good for us and we should be happy. And if someone is, is struggling, um, it's, it's not good for us, we should try to help them. And, um, yeah, I mean, once, once I asked Srila Prabhupada about MP, uh, I had been thinking about it, and there were so many reasons not to be envious. Uh, it would disturb my uh, relationships with devotees. There's no reason to be envious because Krishna is unlimited and his service is unlimited. And um, there's enough service for me. It doesn't matter what service the others are doing. But still the envy wasn't going away. So in uh, Surat, I asked uh, Srila Prabhupada about envy. And he, he first responded by asking me if, if I had thought of any reasons not to be envious. And I said, yes. So then he said, so uh, being envious means you don't like someone. And that not liking should not be directed towards devotees but that not liking should be directed towards demons who create so many problems for devotees and, and the world. So, yeah, we should, we should like devotees. More about an accidental fall down and um, I don't know, once Srila Prabhupada said if if you see Brahmananda smoking a cigarette on the street, you should still know that he's a great saint. Um, so yeah, we should encourage them to, you know, uh, of course give up their sinful activities. Um, but yeah, love, love can work wonders and if if they see we don't reject them and we're standing by them and you know rooting for them and prepared to help them, uh, they, they they can respond and improve. <laughs>